Our topic for today is about appendicular limb or posterior limb or hind limb. The pelvic girdle or os coxae is comprised of ilium, ischium, and pubis. The thigh or the femur, the kneecap or the patella is the largest sesamoid bone. Next is the leg, the tibia, and the fibula. And the pes or the foot comprised of the tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. The bones of the pelvic limb. The os coxae is a fused ilium, ischium, pubis, and acetabular bone. The ilium is the largest and most cranial part of the os coxae. The ischium is the most caudal part of the os coxae. The pubis is the smallest of the three pelvic bones. It forms the cranial part of the floor of the pelvic cavity. Acetabulum is the concavity articulating with the femoral head. It is formed by the fusion of ilium, ischium, pubis, and acetabular bone. The obturator foramen is the largest opening at the floor of os coxae. Comparing the os coxae of different animals. The os coxae is the largest flat bone in the body. We can identify them by the size and shape. The os coxae of dog, cats, and pig. The gluteal surface is facing laterally. While in the cattle, the gluteal surface is facing dorsally. In the dog, the wing of ilium is distinctly concave and has more than one gluteal line. In the pig, the wing of ilium is divided into two fossae by distinct gluteal line. In cattle, the wing of ilium has one gluteal line. Three prominences on ischiatic tuber. The obturator is wide and sharp medially. And the pelvic symphysis has distinct ventral ridge. In the horse, the wing of ilium has one gluteal line. Next is the femur or the round bone. This is the heaviest and the largest bone of the skeletal system. The proximal end of the femur has nearly spherical head that articulates with the acetabulum of the os coxae to form the hip joint. Comparing the femur of animals. In cattle and horse, the greater trochanter is higher than the femoral head. The difference between the cattle and in the horse, in horse, there is a third trochanter present. In cats, dog, and pig, the greater trochanter is same level as the femoral head. In the cats and dog, the shaft is cylindrical and curved, while in the pig, the shaft is distinctly quadrilateral. In the tibia and fibula, these are the bones of true leg or the cross. The portion of the pelvic limb between the stifle and the hock. The tibia, or also called as shin bone, is the larger of the two. While the fibula, or also called as calf bone, which is much smaller and lies on the lateral side of the leg. Tibial tuberosity is the large proximal cranial process where the muscles and patellar ligaments attach. The lateral malleolus is the distal end of the fibula. The medial malleolus can be found in the distal end of the tibia. And the interosseous space is the space between the tibia and the fibula. Comparing the tibia and the fibula, in dogs, cat, and pig, it is not fused. And the fibula is as long as the tibia. While in the horse, Fibula reduced to the head and proximal shaft only, and the lateral malleolus is fused. In the cattle, the fibula is vestigial. There is no interosseous space present, and the lateral malleolus articulates separately. In the tarsal bone, the proximal row of the tarsal bone consists of two large bones. The talus or the tibiotarsal bone or the ankle bone or the astragalus or the knuckle bone. It is the larger bone that forms the mobile joint with the tibia. The calcaneus or also called as fibular tarsal bone or the heel bone 
it projects proximal and caudal to form the point of the hook. The calcaneus acts as the lever for the muscle extending the hook. In the tarsal, it is almost the same with the carpus. There is a proximal and a distal row present, but there is an additional center row between the two. The bones of the distal row are numbered 1 to 4 from medial to lateral. In the distal row, the first tarsal bone is also called as medial cuneiform. The second tarsal bone is called as middle cuneiform. The third tarsal bone is called as lateral cuneiform. And the fourth tarsal bone is called as cuboid. There are seven tarsal bones in dog. In horse, there are six tarsal bones. The first and second tarsal bone are fused. In the cattle, there are five tarsal bones. The central tarsal bone and the fourth tarsal bone are fused. And it is also called as the central quartal bone. And the second and third tarsal bone are fused. In the pig, there are seven tarsal bones. The metatarsal bones and the digit. The pattern is the same as in the thoracic limb of horse and pig. But in carnivores, the first metatarsal bone is even more reduced than in the front limb. In ruminant, the fifth metatarsal bone is absent. Thank you so much for watching and this video is sponsored by Patreon subscribers. Join me in making more veterinary educational content in a creative way. In return, you can have an access to all of my vet digital files including my scanned notes and digital layout on Patreon. Your generous contribution will give justice for all of my hard work so I can have more time to create artsy notes for your enjoyment and education. Thank you so much again for watching and see you on my next video. I am Dr. Leatrice. I'm a veterinarian and an artist. Bye-bye!